This is a 30 weeks gestation, I'm focusing on the head. And here you see these are the edema. This, this a box shaped structure is given septum pericetum, skull bone. We do not see any bossing of the skull. And uh, this is the nose, eyes. And uh, here you will see the nails. No, no cleft palate. <laughs> These are the nails. There is the mouth of the baby. This is the mouth. These are two nails. This is the nose. There is no normally seen relating to the head at least. Now moving further into the ultrasound. <coughs> this is a female fetus. As you can see, these are the labia. Here you see the female, which is curved. This is the femur. See the curve of the fetus. And, and it measures at 30 weeks, 44 mm, whereas normal should be 60, um, uh, 60 mm plus. So this is a short fetus showing bowing. Yes, no fracture. Going of this bone femur, fine, okay. This is finding number one. The vertebral column it does not show any evidence of spina bifida or uh, any other uh, pathology. Now I'm tracing the vertebral column catholically down up to the, uh, sorry, in the, at the region of the vertex, it's a cephalic presentation and uh, the spine is normal, nothing wrong with the spine. Okay. Now these are tibia and fibula, in which you will see the bowing of tibia, but the fibula is normal. See, this, this is the tibia, Boeing tibia, fibula is normal. Coming towards the region of the hand, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, arm, exploring the arm. That's what I said. Now, humerus, ulna, and uh, tibia. Uh, sorry, uh, humerus. Alna and fibula. Radius. 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 They are normal. We do not see any bowing in this uh, case. Length is normal. This is the humerus. This area. This is the humerus. And uh, now. Moving further into the study, this is the abdomen. You see the kidneys are normal. This is the kidney. Stomach bubble, liver, diaphragm. This is the lung. Triangular shaped structure is the lung. But the other important thing to follow in this case is that uh, the chest is narrow. The abdomen is protuberant, chest is narrow. As you see,
see. Now I'm going to give you a trace as to what shows the protuberant abdomen. This is the anterior wall of the abdomen. This is the chest. This is the chest and this is the abdomen. So protuberant abdomen and uh, narrow skull, uh, sorry, narrow thorax. This is the heart, and actually we, uh, I'm just studying the heart and I wish to get the full chamber view. Yes, this is the full chamber view of the heart. Mitral valve is working normally. This is the mitral valve, like a spit valve. So the heart is normal. So no anomaly seen relating to the heart. Abdomen is there is no pathology seen relating to the abdomen. Again, see the short chest and the protuberant abdomen. This is rather a better view. You see, this is the abdomen. This is the thorax. It is short, narrow. Not short, but rather narrow. This is the neck region. No pathology seen at the neck region. This is the hand. Now the hand and the fingers are not small, are not short. One, two, three, four, and five. Fingers and the hand. Now this is a case of skeletal dysplasia, which has almost uh, 200 causes, in which uh, the positive findings in this case is polyhydramnia, as you saw, the fluid was more than normal. The second uh, was uh, the bowing of the femurs and a short fem femur with uh, narrow uh, chest protuberant abdomen. So this is a case of skeletal dysplasia uh, that needs further evaluation. Thank you very much.